Good morning children. Today you will learn unit 11 measurement. In this part of the lesson you will learn about the measurement of length, mass and capacity, the relations of different units and their conversions. Children, the learning objectives are to learn measurement of length, mass and capacity, to relate different units of length, mass and capacity, to convert one unit into another. Children, let us learn about measurement of length. And also we will learn how to relate different units of length. Then we will learn how to convert one unit into another. Here you can find four different units of measurement of length. They are written in an order from big to small. Kilometer, km, m is meter, cm is centimeter, mm is millimeter. Kilometers are bigger than a meter. Meter is the basic unit of length. Centimeters and millimeters are less than a meter. Now let us start from the relations. Let us start from the smaller units of length and the relations. Centimeters and millimeters. The relation between centimeters and millimeters Centimeters are bigger, millimeters are smaller. The relation is 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters or 10 millimeters make 1 centimeter. The next relation is of meters and centimeters. Meters are bigger and centimeters are smaller. So the relation is 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters or 100 centimeters make 1 meter. The third relation is of kilometers and meter. Kilometers are bigger and meters are smaller. So 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters or 1000 meters make 1 kilometers. Now using these relations we will learn how to convert one unit into another. Now let us see this pictorial representation. If you have to convert from kilometers to meters, here kilometers are bigger and meters are smaller. So to convert from a bigger unit to a smaller unit, we have to multiply. We have to use this rule. Multiply to change from a bigger unit to a smaller unit. Big to small, multiply or BSM rule we will follow. It, whether it is kilometers to meters or meters to centimeters in which meters are bigger and centimeters are smaller or centimeters to millimeters, centimeters are bigger and millimeters are smaller. So in all these cases we will use multiplication but with what number, which number you have to multiply that you have to find out by looking at the relations. You have to check the relations for that. First, the first is, first conversion is from kilometers to meters. We have to convert from bigger unit to a smaller unit. The relation is 1 kilometer is 1000 meters. So we multiply with 1000 here. Next, meters to centimeters, bigger unit to smaller unit. The relation is 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So we have to multiply with 100 to convert from meters to centimeters. The third conversion is from centimeters to millimeters. To convert from bigger unit centimeters to smaller unit millimeters, we have to again multiply. But which number we have to multiply? We have to check the relation. 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. So we have to multiply with 10 here. Now let us see the other way. To convert from a smaller unit to a bigger unit, millimeters are smaller and centimeters are bigger. To convert from centimeters to meters, that is centimeters are smaller and meters are bigger. To convert from meters to kilometers, 
in which meters are smaller and kilometers are bigger so in this case you have to use the other rule which says divide to change from a smaller unit to a bigger unit small to big divide sbd rule this rule you have to follow if you have to convert from a smaller unit to a bigger unit but here from millimeters to centimeter according to the relation 1 cm is 10 mm you have to divide here with 10 now centimeters to meters according to the relation you have to divide by 100 here from meters to kilometers to convert from smaller unit meters to bigger unit kilometers you have to divide by 1000 so children remember to convert from a bigger unit to a smaller unit multiply to convert from a smaller unit to a bigger unit divide so use the sbd and the bsm rules and also using the relation you can easily convert from one unit into another now children let us do some examples in converting one unit into another in measurement of length first of all we should know the relations let us recollect the relations the first relation is 1 cm is equal to 10 mm second relation is 1 m is equal to 100 cm the third relation is 1 km is equal to 1000 m after recollecting the relations let us recollect the rules the sbd and the bsm rules the first rule is big to small multiply bsm rule the second rule is small to big divide sbd rule now here are a few examples convert first question 42 cm into millimeters first of all let us do this in two steps first step let us see that whether it is small to big or big to small or which rule to apply here we have to convert centimeters into millimeters so centimeters are bigger and millimeters are smaller so we have to use bsm rule big to small multiply we have to multiply multiply with which number to decide that we have to check the relation the relation between centimeter and millimeter is 1 cm is equal to 10 mm so since it is big to small and the relation is 1 cm is equal to 10 mm we will multiply with 10 42 cm into 10 is equal to 420 mm second question 88 mm is equal to how many cm to find the answer first we have to check whether it is bsm or sbd small to big or big to small millimeters are smaller and centimeters are bigger here so it is small to big to convert from smaller to bigger unit we have to divide to divide with which number we have to check the relation the relation between millimeters and centimeters is 10 here so we divide by 10 88 mm divide by 10 here you have to recollect the multiplication of decimals by 10 100 and 1000 and division of decimals by 10 100 and 1000 to do the conversions in measurement so 88 mm the point will be after at the end after 88 so to divide by 10 you will move the point towards the left to one place so it will be 8.8 cm third question 0.78 meters is equal to dash centimeters first we have to check whether it is big to small or small to big meters to centimeters meters are bigger than centimeters so it is big to small next we have to check the relation the relation is 1 meter is equal to 100 cm this is the relation between meters and centimeters 
so since it is big to small we have to multiply with 100 when you multiply by 100 0 0.78 in multiplication the decimal point will move towards the right side since it is 100 it will move to two places so the answer will be 78 centimeters or 78.0 centimeters also you can write question number four 187 centimeter is equal to how many meters first we will check whether it is small to big or big to small centimeters to millimeters centimeters are smaller and meters are bigger so it is small to big to convert from small to big unit you have to divide now divide by which number the relation what is the relation it is 100 here in meters and centimeters so we divide by 100 when you divide by 100 the point is at the end after 187 so in division the point decimal point will move towards the left side since it is 100 it will move to two places towards the left so the answer is 1.87 meters fifth example 5.8 kilometers into meters here kilometers are bigger than meters so it is big to small big to small you have to multiply multiply with which number the relation the relation between kilometers and meters is one kilometer is equal to thousand meters so here you will multiply with 1000 when you multiply with 1000 5.8 the decimal point is after 5 since its multiplication the, the decimal point will move towards the right to three places 1 2 and 3 so the answer will be 5800 meters question number 6 2400 meters to kilometers here meters are smaller and kilometers are bigger so to convert from smaller to a bigger unit you have to divide divide with which number the relation is thousand so you divide by thousand here the decimal point is after 2400 in division of decimals the sign the decimal point will move towards the left to three places since it is division by thousand so the answer will be 2.400 kilometers or simply you can remove the zeros after the the decimal place the two zeros at the end of the decimal number writing or removing the zeros at the end of a decimal number will not change its value so if you remove the two zeros you can write 2.4 kilometers measurement of mass measurement of capacity and subject enrichment activity one will be continued in video two of part one measurement